Four. And new tonight, the Lindenhurst School Board taking new action after backlash over changes that left some students without school bus service. News 12's Jen Seelig is live in Lindenhurst with the latest from tonight's meeting. And Jen, what did the board announce? Yeah, they voted on making changes to their transportation policy, changing how they calculate the mileage to determine if a student is considered a walker or student to ride the bus. And this comes all after parents. Some of them were angry and concerned, learning that their student is now considered a walker this year after riding the bus for several years before. I'm looking to get my kid on the bus so get to school. So just have to walk past the bus stop. The district recently recalculated mileage and the changes were made after they were audited. The audit revealed children who lived too close to their school were taking a bus. And the district says they had to make changes this year or they could lose state funding if they continued busing kids who were not eligible. This neighborhood's not safe. I don't need my kid walking back and forth to school. Some students tell News 12 it may not be a far walk to school for them, but it could be a dangerous one. We got to cross the highway and stuff like that. So you wish you had a bus? I do, yeah. With the board's recent vote, what's going to change? Superintendent Anthony Davidson says most notably changes include moving the endpoints of the middle school and high school to one single endpoint at the main entrance door. Now the board and policy board committee could change how the mileage is calculated. They still have to see how much it's going to cost to increase busing and hire new bus drivers. Also, their bus company would need to map out new routes and the families impacted will need to be notified. And that's the first step the board voted on this policy. So now the parents will be notified hopefully by Thursday. That's the goal from them from the board to get the notices through letters, emails through the parent portal about this expanded eligibility. And if the parents and students are denied, they can appeal. Joe.